Chocolate with a Chance of Bullies, written by Vinyl Scratched. Skidaloo! Skidaloo! What? For all of Celestia's sake, what is it, Sweetie Belle? Oh, you're awake. Well, I was wondering if you'd be willing to accompany me to Sugar Cube Corner. But if you're too tired, I can go alone. I guess. Don't even think about it. Just give me a minute. Okay. I'll wait for you downstairs, Scouts. All right. Be down in a sec. Just hurry up before Rarity hears us. We don't want her waking up. Wait, Sweetie Belle. What time is it? I don't know. A little after midnight. Now, come on. Okay, let's go. You owe me a chocolate milkshake. Sprinkles? Always. Okay. Hey, Scootaloo. You know, you are moaning in your sleep again. What well, I... Um... Yeah, he was kind of cute. He were mumbling, too. S stop it! I... Uh, I don't want to hear about... Special, just how much you liked Diamond Tiara. Stop laughing, <laughs> Sweetie Belle. Seriously, <laughs> quit it. <laughs> Why? It's fun to see you blush. No. <laughs> Shut up. Why? <clears throat> hey, we're almost there. I wonder who'd be there at this time of night. Yeah, I don't see why Pinkie Pie stays open all night. I guess she just enjoys her sweets that much. Well, let's go inside already! It's cold out here! Scoot, you're such a baby! We're here to eat ice cream! Don't you want ice cream? So? You dragged me out from under my awesomely warm blanket. Besides, I'm so tired! That's all I can think about! Pinkie Pie! Hey, Sweetie Belle! How are you tonight? Good! I was craving some vanilla strawberry ice cream. Yeah, she woke me up because she was too scared to walk all the way here. Sweetie Belle, why do you have to wake Scootaloo up like that? You know she needs her beauty sleep. I'm not the one who needs beauty sleep here. Sweetie Belle's just a scaredy cat. Take that back, you feather brain! Nah, now buy me a milkshake. Fine. Vanilla for the flank face, please. Hey! You know I'm just playing, right? Mmm! Right? Yeah, but you still could've got me my usual chocolate shake. Pinkie Pie? Sure thing, kiddo! Let's take some seats while Pinkie Pie makes them. Hmm... Sweetie Belle, I'm surprised at how many ponies are here. There's Carrot Top and Lucky Clover. Over there's Lyra and Bon Bon. And... <gasps> hey! Derpy's here! So... Big deal. She comes here like every other night to grab muffins before she heads home. Rainbow apparently puts her on night duty after she accidentally destroyed the city hall. No more lightning clouds for her. She just has to keep the night sky cloud-free. Sweetie Belle, how'd you know that? Scoot, who's my sister? Rarit- Oh, I see, so gossip gets around. Oh, have you heard anything about Rainbow Dash? Yeah, she's got a position in the Wonderbolts now, but that's about it. She's on the reserves, but will be staying here for now. Here's your milkshakes, girls! Enjoy! Thanks, Pinky! You're welcome! Oh, Scootaloo. Sorry for waking you up. It's fine. I has chocolate. Stop eating so fast! You're going to make yourself sick! No, I... Owie! See? Ah! <laughs> 
stupid brain freeze! Ah! Hey, quit laughing at me! Sorry, oh. it's just so funny. Hey, um, Skittle, do you see what I see? Yeah, I see them. I wonder what they're doing here at this time of night. Same thing we are, I hope. Hey, Sweetie Belle, should we just invite them over? I'm really tired of waiting for them to stop bullying us. Maybe we should just, you know, talk to them. They have no one here to impress, or any reason to be mean to us. I... I don't know. I... I guess... Oh, wait, are you blushing? No, of course not. You totally are. Scuttaloo, just drop it, okay? Fine. Hey, Diamond Tiara, Silver Spoon, come here. No, hide me. Quiet, sweetie. Oh, look, we have here, Silver. Two out of three Crusaders. What do you want, Blank Flank? Scoot, just take a breath. I'm trying. Uh... Uh, Diamond, can you maybe stop bullying us? It's just getting old. If there's anything I've learned from Rainbow Dash and her friends, it's that friendship is everything. Do you think we could, like, be friends? Us? Being friends with you? As if. Silver Spoon, go get some milkshakes, strawberry, no toppings, get whatever you want. Diamond, we should at least listen to them. Scootal is right, you know. This is getting old. I'm tired of standing here and making other ponies feel bad. I mean, yeah, we have our cutie marks, big deal. Every pony gets theirs eventually. What did you just say to me? I said I agree with Scootaloo. So... You going soft on me? Is that it? Are you going to leave me for them? After all the stuff I've helped you through? After all the money I spent on you? And after everything I've done for you? You're just going to leave? No, I don't want to lose my best friend, but I'm tired of my best friend ruining every pony's day. I mean, it's the middle of the night and we only came up to get some ice cream because you couldn't sleep. All you could do was cry, and just, what were you crying about? Silver Spoon, this isn't the place for that. No, it's the perfect place for this. What were you crying about? Why are we here? Why did you want ice cream at midnight? I was crying because... Because of what my f father told me. He's disappointed. He... He said... He doesn't want me anymore. He said it's because I'm a dishonor to the family name. And that he doesn't want me to run the family business. Even though I told him his stupid face that I didn't want to be part of his silly business. I... I want... I don't know what I want. Exactly. Your cutie mark doesn't dictate who you will be or what you're able to do. I don't know what mine is for, even though my father says it's for silver crafting. Silver Spoon. Diamond, this is why you need to leave these two and their friend and those other fillies alone. You have no reason to pick on them. You have no reason to keep venting your anger and frustration on them. You have no reason at all. It doesn't help your ego, it doesn't help your reputation, and all it does is make you look even worse. I care about you, and I've told you all this before, but you have never listened to me. Now that these two are here to witness this, I'm hoping it will finally sink into that thick pink head of yours. Wow, Silver Spoon. Never knew you to be the one to talk so much. Scoot? Now's not the time. Sorry. Diamond, you're like a sister to me, and I've always followed you in anything you've done. 
You've been my best friend for as long as I can remember, and I don't want to see you hurt. And I'm tired of seeing you hurt other ponies. Um, Silver Spoon? I think she gets it. Sweetie Belle? Yes, it's me, Diamond. Don't worry, I forgive you. How can you forgive a useless filly like me? All I've ever done is push you around and hurt your feelings. So? My sister taught me that every pony deserves a second chance. Every pony deserves a chance to change the better themselves. Sweetie. <laughs> Let it all out. It's alright. Um, Silver? Every pony is staring at the four of us. I've already noticed, Scootaloo. Diamond, you're almost done crying? I think so. Thanks, sweetie. Good! How about you two go get your ice cream and join us? Okay, come on, Silver Spoon. Let's go get our shakes. Thanks, you two. Sorry you had to see her like that. Diamond bottles up too many emotions. I hate to see her like that. But I hope she decides to turn her attitude around. Silver, what kind do you want? I'll take a chocolate with sprinkles, please. <laughs> wow, Sweetie Belle. When did you get so forgiving? Remember when I tried to sabotage Sapphire Shore's headdress? The one my sister was designing? Well, Luna had come to me in my dream and told me some stuff. I don't remember exactly what it was all about, but I remember the basic moral was not to hold grudges, so I won't. I have about as much of a reason to hold a grudge against Diamond, Tiara, and Silver Spoon as I do to hold a grudge against you or Apple Bloom. I guess you're right, though. I still don't trust them. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt just because you're like a sister to me. And, well, I don't see any reason not to. What we just saw was something I've always wanted to see, and for some reason, I thought it would make me feel better, but it didn't. It made me feel a bit bad. I know what you mean. I've wanted to see Diamond cry for as long as I can remember, but not like this. Shush! Here they come! I'm sorry. It's fine, Tiara. No, it's not Scoobaloo. I've made a huge mistake. I've bullied you and your friends to satisfy my own frustrations. It never worked. It was just never enough. I thought that controlling you three was the way for me to gain control of my own life. You know, figure out where I should go and find where my place is in the world. But it never helped me feel better. So I'm sorry for everything I've done to you two and Apple Bloom. Even though her accent does still get on my nerves. Diamond! Ouch! No need to elbow me! Oh, right. Sorry. It's fine. And you know Apple Bloom isn't going to trust us when we tell her about this. It might take a little bit to convince her. Di and I will talk to her Monday at school, okay? Just let her know ahead of time. Sure. Hey, Silver? Is that chocolate with sprinkles? Yeah, it's my favorite. No way! It's mine too! See? Awesome! What else do you like, besides ice cream at night? Well, I would have stayed asleep if Sweetie Belle didn't make me come with her. Yeah, Diamond did the same thing to me. Ironic, huh? Kinda, yeah. What's wrong, Scootaloo? My milkshake. It's gone. It's all gone, every last drop. I can't believe I drank it all. Well, you said this is your favorite, right? Want some of mine? I still feel bad for you. You know, that one time. When you three were practicing for the Equestria Games pre-game performance. It's fine, Silver Spoon. You sure? Okay, fine. I'll take that milkshake now. Just leave me some, okay, Scoot? 
Can't make any promises. You have a lot of stuff to pay for. But then again, this milkshake should cover it. Don't pout at me. I think a single milkshake is acceptable. Just saying, I never let Tiara drink from my shakes, much less given anyone else the offer to share one. I love my chocolate too much to share. Really now? Not even Diamond? Not even me. Hey, Sweetie Belle, should we be heading back to your place? It's almost two. I guess. Diamond, can you and Silver meet us back here tomorrow afternoon? Sure. And thanks again, Sweetie Belle. I... I honestly have been wanting to talk to you and your friends for a while, but I was afraid of how to bring it up. You should be thanking Silverspoon. She's the one who's stuck by your side all these years. You're right, Skooloo. Anyways, good night, you two. Silver, almost done with your milkshake? Not even close. Alright. Well, take a time. And thanks, Silver. I'm glad you're my bestie. Can't forget the past Even when I tried so hard But it's closing in It opens up my heart As it tries to break through I cannot relive through those mistakes. What the actual crab baskets? Do you hear the jet? I'm not okay with you flying over my sky. Gosh. Not this again. God. Oh, goodness. Alright. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna take my time drinking this milkshake. I don't know when I'll be able to get more chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. I was crying because... Because of what my father... <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to swear. Uh, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Um, Lily, you didn't hear anything, okay? <laughs> 